love being a woman. I particularly love being a black woman. You saw our traveling exhibit and I've seen people walk up and as soon as they see the shackles, they say, oh, I don't want to hear about that. I don't want to talk about that. It'll make me mad. You know what I tell people? Get mad. Get mad. Embrace it. It's okay. You have reason to be mad. You have reason to be an angry black woman. We got reason to be angry. But now what are you going to do with that anger? You can't live in that anger because it'll just eat you alive. Embrace it. Learn from it. And grow. My film, My Slave Sister Myself, I talk about the fact that we all as black women have an inner slave sister and if you can't feel her, you're denying the, the fact that she ever existed because she did. You came through the middle passage. You, we, came through the middle passage. Those sisters who fought and were raped, constantly raped, and were forced upon, put on, on uh, auction blocks and sold, you can feel that. That, slave, that inner slave sister that, that lives within us, we need to release her. We need to let her feel the freedom that we are, are, are accustomed to. And your name is? Gwen Ragsdale. Slave women and what they had to endure. And in doing my uh, research for my book, I kept running around, uh, running across stories that were, where they, white women and black women were constantly having interactions because it was the white women who were running the households but it was the black women who were taking care of the needs of these households. And I found that after the Civil War, many of these white women were thrown into the uh, role of uh, taking care of their plantations. But many of them didn't have a clue as to how to run a plantation. Their husbands were off to the war. Some of them were killed and never came home. But they uh, um, still had to run this plantation. And I saw this picture. In fact, it's the same picture that I included on my book. And I was fascinated by this picture because you can see it's a white woman who's uh, looking into this uh, uh, hearth, this fireplace. And she's reaching back to touch the hand of her uh, slave, slave woman. And it made me wonder not only what she was thinking, but what the slave woman must have been thinking. Because I'm sure the slave woman who probably had been enslaved, maybe not, maybe had even raised this woman and had been with her for so many years. But she was torn with wanting to help her but also wanted to be free. So that's what uh, uh, prompted my uh, um, attention to want to write this book. And I called it Peculiar Relationships because I, uh, it's a, a play off the uh, book Peculiar Re Institution, which is a book about slavery. And the relationships that these women had could range anywhere from a loving sisterly relationship to an absolute... Um, uh, abominable relationship where the because the slave women were tortured by a lot of the slave mistresses because they didn't want them around because of the affection that the uh, white man had. When I talk to uh, white women, those who are enlightened enough to be able to see by their see beyond their whiteness because sometimes sometimes some white women are so locked into their whiteness just like some of our sisters are so locked into our blackness that we can't see beyond it, and we have to, because I find that women, we are on the crest of possibly um, electing the first female president of the United States. And if we don't come to an understanding of who we are as women, if not now, when will we? See it as an opportunity to start some conversation towards healing. Because oftentimes, we don't do enough talking to one another. We talk about each other, but we don't talk to each other. There's as many differences that we have as black women and white women. We also have many similarities. The, the main similarity is we share the same gender. 
Um, many of us are mothers or daughters in many cases or sisters. And because we have that shared gender, we have many of the same makeup, all right? Um, and many of us not only deal with our own uh, um, feelings of insecurity, we all are struggling in a male-dominated society in many cases. So we come together with many of the same struggles. Very different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding so, I'm finding so many, many different, mentality different mentality today. It seems, it seems hard. hard. It seems, it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else is a challenge. Plus is a challenge. Um, so, 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 I'm ready, for, I'm this ready for this challenge. And I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think we, that all we all have a purpose in life. In life. And mine's going to take on a task that most of that most are back away, back from. away from. That impossible, that impossible people, say people say it's impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see anything, I don't see anything as being impossible. impossible.